Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'm going to show you how to use the sphere the sphere eyes tool in Photoshop. Basically, what it allows you to do is wrap text around a sphere, and it actually does end up looking quite realistic and, and quite quite realistic and very professional too. So let's just get right to it. First, obviously, get your sphere. I, for for the video's sake, I just went to the internet, typed in sphere, and took and took some random picture. But uh, you get your image, whatever, whatever you want. Next, obviously, create the text that you want to wrap that you want to wrap around the sphere. Um, before the video, I created this um, text layer just so you wouldn't have to sit there and watch me uh, create it. Just before we use the sphere the sphere eyes tool, remember to keep in mind that you will be that you will end up rasterizing the type, which means that it's no longer editable. So what you have to do is choose the color, size, font, all that kind of stuff before you use the Sphere Eyes tool. So once you have created the uh, color, font, whatever, size, um, once you've already created that, then, then you're ready, ready to go. Just get it somewhat centered in the, on the circle or sphere. Um, if I zoom in here, you can see the S doesn't go to the edge of the circle, and neither does the E over here. That's totally fine, because um, the, the Sphere Eyes tool will automatically do, do that for you. So next, what you want to do is open your elliptical marquee tool right here in the top left. Go to about the center of your circle, hold down Option and Shift, and drag out until the circle is about the size of your sphere. And let go. As you see, the bottom here kind of goes over, and the top is not enough. That's fine. So what you want to do is just stay in your elliptical marquee tool, and you can, you can just drag the selection until you're content with however how it is wrapped around the circle. You want to get it as close as you possibly can, um, because the text will only go to the edge of the selection. So I mean, so if it, if it's not too perfect, you can either redo it, or if you're fine with that, just leave it. Next, what you want to do, go, do is go to Filter, Distort, and Spherize. It'll, as you see here, it'll ask you to rasterize the type, and it, here it says uh, the text will no longer be editable. So like I said before, choose your font, uh, your font color, your size, just your font, just everything beforehand, and hit OK. The small Spherize window will, will pop up. Make sure the amount is 100 and the mode is normal, and then just hit OK. And as you see, the text is now wrapped around the sphere. Just do Command D to delete delete the this, this selection, and now you see it looks very very realistic. So that's really it. Um, it's very easy, and it's easy to remember. It looks great. So yeah, I hope you, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments about this video, don't forget to leave them in the description below. And also, if you have any suggestions for future videos, don't forget to leave those below because I'm always open to more options and I always want to do what you guys want me to do. So thanks for watching. Don't, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.